Hello, Miss Master Daly, or General Daly. Deary me, you're coming out some fantastic titles for my my wonderful name. We well, we have to, to come up with fantastic titles for the fantastic DJ. <laughs> and now we don't want your head to get too big, so. I will hand you over to Will because this is, we are at, well, I'll hand you over and he can tell you all about it. Okay, a bit of wind down there, I can hear. Some wind, hello? Well, that, I'm sorry, you can't do much drought weather condition. Well, I thought you'd bring your sunny hat on today, Chris. I did. In the sun's out, there's just wind in the background. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, handing you to Will. Yeah, JT, I'm so you're still in the studio, aren't you? It's a bit. Um, yes, I just don't know what the weather's like out there. Give us a weather report right now. Oh, it, it's turned out really nice. Has it? We, we had showers. I mean, we were supposed to get showers. So we did have a shower in the high street. It was quite quite wet. Right. But um, it, the weather's been improving since then. And now, I would say it's really nice. Well, that happened yesterday, didn't it? Because I, I was up in Exeter, and for about... Uh, I got to the, to the centre where my brother goes to, yeah. and it was actually chucking down the rain, and as soon yeah. as I came out again, the sun was out. Yes. So it's just maddening, isn't it? Yes. Well, it's sort of like April. <laughs> well, maybe by October, right. it will all be fine. You know, it will be sorted well, out. I said Christmas time will be in, I don't know, Barbados sort of uh, weather, I think. Well, yes, something, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, look, we've arrived at what I would say is the central part of the cosmic meadow. Right. Which is the um, the, the flood prevention. Oh. But the, the good thing is we've been informed reliably by the Met Office. Right. That it won't be needed uh, <laughs> in August. Really? No, we, we can use it for something else. Right. So I think it would be a very good place for a, a concert, an open-air concert. Right. Because I know that uh, Super Heavy, um, well, at least Joss Stone was trying to get a gig at the Olympics, wasn't she? For right. Super Heavy. Yes, I um, read about that, yes. Uh, I, think, I think Nick wasn't very keen on it. Mm -hmm. I, I think he's wanting a quiet life. Something right. like that. For some reason, um, Super Heavy is d d doing nothing at the moment. Right. They, they haven't got any bookings, but I think Exeter City Council or whoever it is, whoever controls this flood prevention space, mm -hmm. they could be persuaded. And uh, Super Heavy could could have a concert here if they wanted one. So this this area you're looking at now is it really large? Because I haven't been down that bit before. Oh, JD, you should come and look at it. It's enormous. Is it? I'm going to hand you back to Chris to describe it. Okay, he's good at that. Got him. <laughs> Okay, this area mm -hmm. is um, looking out. Um, you can see the key to the far, far left mm. if you look left and down a bit. Um, and you can see the church at the bottom of... Uh, uh, St. Leonard's Church um, on the far side of us um, and to my left of where I'm sitting there is a bridge over the flood prevention area which is all grassy marshland at the moment because there's they say there's been no rain. I'm not so sure. <laughs> um, and basically, I came down here after the heavy rain many, a few weeks ago, months ago, and it was all underwater. I've never seen it like that. You might remember seeing it on my Facebook page don't think it's there anymore um, but I came down and the bridge was a bridge over a river so I took a photo 
Um, and you can, I think it would be a great venue for the super heavy concert that we were talking about. So does this have good access to the area so we can get millions and millions of cars in? Well, um, it has access, but I'm not sure how millions and millions. <laughs> no, I'm... Maybe, I'm maybe s- about 10, 20, because there's no car parking. Oh, right, that's... Here. that's well, you have to come down by boat, wouldn't we? Yeah, or walk. Yes, walk or walk by the boat or come down by bus, I suppose, to a certain point. Yeah, you do. Uh, And we're going to go across this bridge and back up and cheat and catch a bus into town because we know how much you like your coffee and you want to see us. Uh, do, Do I really want to see you, Chris? Well, that's your decision. <laughs> I do really, yes, yes. I need somebody. I, I need somebody to talk to, Chris. I'm sitting here in this room here talking to the wonderful audience, but I, I need to talk to you, Chris. So come back okay. and have the coffee. Okay, I will do. I'll hand you back to Will. Okay, right. So they hand the phone back to Will. Try to. Yes, hello. Yes. The other thing I, I would mention is I think R- R- Raphael Sadiq should should be booked as well. Right. Because um, Mick, I'm not sure about him. From what he's saying, I think yeah. he just wants a quieter life. <laughs> you see? I, he is 73, mm-hmm. and uh, I think he might not carry on very much into the evening. Oh, right. So I, I, think, I think there should mm. be somebody else booked, you know, just in case sort of thing. Right. So, Will, are you going to be the organiser of this? Well, I'm just putting it forward as an idea. Chris is my witness that this is quite a good space. He is mm. right. There is not a lot of car parking. Right. But people could walk here. We've not. We can come down our boat, can we? So? Yeah. But, I mean, we've demonstrated you can walk here. Mm-hmm. Well, we've been inspired by the Olympics into at least going for a walk. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> OK, so... I want to say, let's win lots to gold for England. <laughs> You're rooting for England, well, Chris. That sounds right. Mm. But for us other people who are not going to be winning gold medals, I think going for a walk is <laughs> is all right. I think, and, um, I, think, I think going down there, I've, I've actually walked along the river and I do actually remember where you are now. All right. I've walked from Counters Weir Bridge. I was oh, yes, yes. All the way along. And it's a beautiful yes. walk. It is. Yes, I mean, in terms of, of a meadow or countryside, it, go, it gets better from here on out. We are, it does, we, yes. are gonna, we are going to catch a bus back again, it's true. So you're not, get, you're, are, you're not getting down to the pub for lunch, are you? Well, we could do, <laughs> JT, but we don't know by what magic you would join us, you see. Uh, well, I have to get my, fort, my boat out, I suppose, and come down the yeah. river. Well, you could do that. <laughs> or another week, we could just pre-record the whole show on a, on a Wednesday yeah. from the double locks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from the pub. <laughs> yeah, and, and, well, we'd have to make sure we've got our two hours before we stayed there very long. <laughs> <laughs> Would we get thrown but, out? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll work it various ways, but okay. we, we, we'll probably be back to meet you somewhere um, before very long. In the coffee bar. OK, well, I'll wait for you then, mate. No problem with that. <laughs> OK. OK, so All right. enjoy, you later, enjoy your walk back up, OK? Thank you. Bye, bye. OK, bye. JD thing, him master of ceremony.